Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted series. And as you can see, I'm driving this Jaguar XKR, which is a beautiful little car. Yeah, it sounds cool too. Fly like the wind! Woo. It's actually really good for its class too. Blue, dark blue, I like the dark blue. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. I really do hate the Dodge Caliber, guys. I actually, we actually rented one when our uh, Toyota Camry had its bumper ripped off, and it was horrible. Horrible. The uh, trunk was horrible. I mean, it had just like, a, instead of like our Camry, it had a fabric uh, floor liner in the, in the trunk. It actually had a plastic floor liner, which was completely stupid of them to think of why. It actually did explore the car a little bit back when uh, we had it still. We had it like for like a week and it was horrible. We hated every second of it. Whoa! That wasn't a hit and run, you crashed into me. Anyway, yeah. So it was a horrible car. The worst car I've ever been in. It's probably worse cars that I've been in, but still, it, the quality was horrible in it. And in the glove box, and in, in the glove box, it was horrible. In the glove box, it's, uh, they had two compartments. One for a, like wine, you can open up a little flap and it'll be cooled from the air conditioning of your car. And it'll hold like wine or soda or whatever. I mean, really, really dodge. They could have thought of something else other than putting a stupid soda holder with air, that is cooled with your air conditioning system. I mean, really, it's stupid. That is a stupid system you guys installed in the caliber. It's, it's, it's a good thing that it's not in, the caliber is not in this game because it's it's a piece of crap. I didn't actually drive it, but I actually sat in the passenger seat and it was horrible. And of course, since it was actually just a rental car, and of course the worst thing about it is that the door that I was sitting in, the passenger side door, which was horrible. It wouldn't. It would like it. Lo it would close, but when you look at it, it looks like it wasn't completely closed. Like, you know, when you uh, close your door and you don't close it hard enough, it actually just sort of hangs out out there. That's what it looked like, but it was closing all the way. So it was horrible. It was a horrible car. And I, I would always be holding onto the door just thinking, like, it would just... The mechanism holding the door on would just break off. I was so freaked out of that. It was the scariest thing ever. And, you know, I never, I didn't trust one moment of that car at all. It was horrible. And I just failed and crashed. What the... It respawned me. It doesn't usually do that. Gotta find a repair shop because this thing is really dented up. So yeah, this car is really cool. It's in test drive number two as well, but in my opinion, the, the test drive number two one's a little bit better because uh, the tail lights are a little nicer on the car. I mean, they illuminate the whole entire area. Like, I, I can't show it to you now, but like when I'm braking, it, the lights will be on except for the third brake lights. They'll look like that. But in Test Drive Number 2, the whole entire taillight housing illuminates where it's red. Then you have accurate turn indicator lamps, which look like LEDs, and then you have the reverse lights as well. So, let me back up for you and show you the reverse lights. You can't see them right now, but let me go into a tunnel and I'll show them to you. Alright, there's the reverse lights. They're LEDs as well, which is kind of cool. You don't see a lot of cars with LEDs for the reverse lights. I mean, Cadillac... Cadillac takes the effort to put in LEDs in the reverse lights, which is quite nice. I am unlocking ramp chassis on all of my cars right now. Quite, uh, quite, un quite strange. Mr. Repair Shop, I want to change my color. Yes, I just did a handbrake turn. I'm gonna jump this thing. I should have known that was going to happen. I had a feeling in my mind that that was actually going to happen, but I thought, you know what, let's do this. And it didn't end very well. And I just used up my nitrous for no apparent reason. There's a Nissan GTR Egoist. I'm not going to try and anger the cops because the episode's about to end. Yes, I'm hawking at the police because I feel like it. 
So yeah, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.